I've never had to combine family, my wife and the kids, and professional triathlon because they grew together naturally. I've been a successful triathlon athlete for 13 years and none of it has been fabricated. It all developed in a healthy way. For me personally, it showed a certain appreciation that my family joined me on my path and supports me like they do. My family is the basis for everything, and that's what's made me so strong in this sport and gave me this attitude to pull through and never give up. It doesn't necessarily give me power or endurance, but it's more of an energy which is difficult to measure. It's something deep inside me and it gives me a lot of strength. Whether I win or lose, at home, I'm always welcomed like a winner. Yeah, especially in a stunning area like here in the Neckar Valley, it makes sense to enjoy the outdoors together. I train and travel a lot alone without the family, and that's why we try and combine our activities like today during the summer holidays where we go on a special boat trip on the Neckar. We all like to be on and in the water. We enjoy going cycling and that's why almost every training session can be combined with our activities. I'm really proud of him because I've done a triathlon myself and since I've done it, I really have a lot of respect for him because even the short distance is pretty tiring. In some ways, triathlon is a growing trend sport and that's why Ironman is a dream goal for many. It's something that has gained a lot of media attention and inspires and motivates people to exercise. Starting with the sprint distance all the way to the crown jewel, the Ironman Hawaii. You can try anything and set challenges for yourself depending on your time schedule and your aspirations. Team Sport for Good is part of the Laureus charity and at the end or autumn of my career it's amazing and inspiring to come back to the origins of the sport, the youth development, because I can pass on a lot of my experience. It concerns harmony of movement. For example, it's important to have a smooth gait and to find the right center of gravity when you're running, or to have the right position on the bike to not just transfer the power onto the pedal, but to keep the movement economical. You don't want to tire too early, but rather save some energy because at the end of the day, the fastest triathlete is the one who manages his energy in the most efficient way. When it comes to training camps and training tips, I learn a lot from him. Timo gives me a lot of advice and I often train with him here in Eberbach because it's only 15 minutes away from my home. The surprising thing is that I get a little bit tense when I see my training schedule and the times I need to achieve. But if it's not going so well, Timo is the one who says just run 5 seconds slower per kilometer. Or if the watt data isn't what it's supposed to be, then you cycle 10 watts less. That's definitely something that helped me to tick off a training session in my head, even if it didn't go according to plan. Triathlon was and still is a sport for individualists, but it is also a sport where you need to be able to do competitions together. There has always been a sort of a team structure in the sport, and that's something we live in the team sport for good in our daily training, through exchanging materials and by doing training camps together. Right now I have two more good seasons ahead of me in my career and then I want to find a good transition through the sport for a good team. Today a lot is achieved through being an inspiration, not just by telling somebody what to do, but by living it.